Gospel of March the 25th, 2014 A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David and the virgin's name was Mary and coming to her he said Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you but she was greatly troubled at what was said and pondered what sort of greeting this might be then the angel said to her do not be afraid mary for you have found favor with god behold you will conceive in your womb and bear a son and you shall name him jesus he will be great and will be called son of the most high and the lord god will give him the throne of david his father and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no relations with the men? And the angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, therefore, the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived the son in her old age. And this is the sixth month for her who was called barren, for nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. Gospel of the Lord, praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today we are presented with the Annunciation. It is nine months exactly to Christmas on the 25th of December and it is a very important date the Son of God in total agreement with the Father and the Holy Spirit decided to incarnate himself and they chose a virgin because the father reserved for himself to be the sole father of his son and through the power of the Holy Spirit he made the incarnation possible in the womb of the Holy in the Holy womb of the Virgin it was very important that she was to be immaculate because whom we call three times saint, the absolute saint, the Son of God, was to be incarnated, that is taking flesh, and that flesh had to be without sin. So God, who is mighty and able to do whatever He wants, made the conception of the Virgin immaculate in order for her to bear His Son. He also wanted to comply with the law that he had given to the Jews. That is, that no son should be born in outside marriage. So he chose a virgin who had been betrothed with a man, but that were not living yet together. Look at the freedom that God presents and respects of the Virgin. The angel is convincing her, is arguing her, he wants to convince her to accept. The greeting is beautiful. She was made full of grace. That is what the angel told, tells her. Hail, full of grace. The Lord is with you. Our translation, yes, it means about the Lord, but we know from the Greek that they are referring to God. God is with you. Why it is important for us to remember the incarnation of God? It is important because we have to remember that God wanted to become an is. A person just as you and me only without sin 
that he truly incarnated himself in order to suffer in his flesh, in his own flesh, on the cross, to die and be, and be resurrected. In that, in his ministry, in his life, his death and resurrection, he has shown us the way, the way of salvation, Haderic Yeshua. And it is very convenient for us to receive also our Lord Jesus in our conscious life. Because we are baptized, we know that we have received the Holy Spirit. And if we have been confirmed and have participated in the Eucharist with the Holy Communion, and if we can, to a certain point, fulfill the words of the Lord, His commandments, we know that His Father loves us, and they, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit dwell in us. Yet, many times, most times, we do not enjoy that presence. And today I present you the model of the Virgin to enjoy the presence of God in your life. What we see in the Virgin first is the hearing. She hears the word of God. She hears the angel. Second, she is humble. Third, she accepts everything coming from God. So if we want to be in the presence of God today, we have to do the same. Hear the word, which we have already done on the Gospel. Dispose ourselves humbly and accept whatever comes from God. Do not be afraid because He loves you so much as you wouldn't believe. He loves you more than you can think. Do not be afraid. Look for Him. Let Him dwell in your conscience, not only in the innermost of your soul, but in the uppermost of your conscience. Be accompanied by the Holy Spirit in your everyday life that you might become true sons of the of the high God of our Father, true brothers of our Lord Jesus Christ, and very happy in the process. Let us humbly ask that. May our Father in heaven grant us to carefully watch, to contemplate the life, the sacred body of our Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you all, brothers.